it destroys minds and lives. Sleeping sickness. Without treatment, it kills everyone it touches. But dedicated medics and scientists are fighting back. They are determined to defeat sleeping sickness, the world's most deadly disease. I let it fall, my heart, and as it fell, you rose to claim it. It was dark. Sleeping sickness is spread by tsetse flies. As the flies feed on human blood, they inject parasites, called trypanosomes. Once in the bloodstream, they change shape. Traveling through the blood vessels, they can spread to many different organs, where they start multiplying. Trypanosomes are very good at evading the immune system. They can cause many serious health problems, from kidney failure to heart disease. And I was over until you kissed my lips and you saved me. My hands, they're strong, but my knees were far too weak. Maggie fears that Taria is now in the dangerous second stage of sleeping sickness. Blood vessels keep Taria's brain supplied with essential nutrients and oxygen. Somehow, the trypanosomes in her blood have penetrated Taria's brain cells. Very few parasites can do this. Once there, the trypanosomes destroy the brain cells. This has severely disrupted Taria's sleep cycle. She has fallen into a deep coma. The medics feel the lymph nodes to see if there is any swelling. Then they do a preliminary blood test. A drop of blood is put into a chemical reagent and then mixed together for a few minutes. Then the medic checks to see if any clumps have formed. If not, the test is negative. This person hasn't developed antibodies and so probably doesn't have trypanosomes in their blood. Yeah. <coughs> it is called a CAT test. It's quick and cheap. More thorough test. More blood is taken, as well as fluid from her glands. They are trying to find the parasites themselves. They are tricky to detect. Parasites have remained in his blood and lymphatic fluids. It is called first stage. But if the trypanosomes have entered his brain, he has progressed to the potentially fatal second stage. The trypanosomes are destroying Reagan's brain cells. Somehow they have crossed a crucial natural defense system, the blood brain barrier. The problem is, how do you kill these parasites without damaging the brain cells? Reagan needs a powerful drug which can flow from the bloodstream into his brain without killing him. Sleeping sickness, the world's most deadly disease.